Here to talk about the importance of breast screening, I have with me, I have Keely Ringo, two-time national champion of the University of Georgia and drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles, his mom, Traley, and Dr. DeCarla Albright. Good morning to all of you. Hello. Hi, thank you for having us. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you for joining us. Now, Traley, we're so happy to hear you're in good health now after battling breast cancer. What message do you want to share with other women about the importance of prior prioritizing their health and getting annual mammograms? Now that breast cancer is behind me, it has become my new life's mission to communicate the importance of breast health. We as women are able to put ourselves on the back burner, for lack of a better phrase, and we cater to our children and our family. We are caregivers, we're uh, nurturers, and we uh, somehow are able to justify not taking care of ourselves and taking care of them but we have got to take care of ourselves and keep ourselves at 100% so that we are going to be at our best to take care of the ones we love. I agree with you I, on that, definitely. I, I made the mistake of not doing so and I almost paid the ultimate price. Now, Dr. Albright, what should women know about breast cancer screenings? So women should know that cancer screening, breast cancer screening begins now at age 40. I recommend annual screening uh, with a mammogram, but they should speak with their doctor and make sure that they come to an agreement and have shared decision making about what's best for them. Um, and they want to get screened with a 3D mammogram. 3D mammography is going to be the best screening technology for breast cancer detection. Um, early detection does save lives, and it's going to be important to ask uh, for that order and just to get it done. I hear you. Now, doctor, what advice do you have for women who may have missed their exams due to the pandemic? I would say, come back, we're open. We've always been open, actually, and it's time to resume taking good care of yourself and great care of your health. So go see your doctor, make sure you get updated on your uh, mammogram if you're due, and if you're having any breast symptoms, any pain, any nipple discharge, any masses, it's very important that you bring that to the attention of your physician so you can get examined and get appropriately screened. Um, breast cancer is, is and can be preventable, so it's important to do that. Now, Keely, congratulations on being drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, as you embark on your career in the NFL, tell us why you decided to become an advocate for women's health. Yes, sir. I, do. I decided to become an advocate for women's health because I want to continue to support my mother as well as people that have been in her situation um, and, and also that might be in her situation in the future. You know, so, um, I mean, like, that's one of the huge things I want to continue to um, stand by and, and continue to uphold myself. Now, Beyond just lending your voice to the cause, you and your mother have also started a foundation. Tell us about that. Yes, sir. My mother and I have created the Ringo Family Foundation because we, we, we want to continue to spread um, awareness and hopefully people who, who might be my mother, um, mother's situation as well, um, receive early detection of triple negative um, breast cancer. Now, Trey, Ringo can you give us the website that we need to go to for that information? Absolutely. Please go visit Genius3Dnearme.com for more, for more information. Keely, one last thing for you. How long have you been playing football? I've been playing football since around, um, I was eight years old, I think. Eight years old? So yes, here's sir. what I would like for you to do for us. Aspiring eight-year-olds, junior high, high school athletes, what would you say it takes to get where you are now from the from the time they get started in junior high school to when they're about to go to college? Man, one of the main things I would say is, um, man, it's really hard. Um, I definitely would say nothing about this entire process is easy. Of course, everybody likes the accolades, um, the, the reaping benefits and everything like that, man. But um, there's a lot of times where, where I went home and it's like, man, the only thing I want to do is lay down, you know? Um, I feel like that, that that comes within the discipline and determination, you know, and just being a, um, a competitive type person in every single thing that you do, you know. But um, it's one thing when 
there's a coach telling you to go outside and, and do a certain thing, but it's really different when you actually want to go out there and, 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 and do it yourself as well. So it all, it all ties together. So how much did... Go ahead, Traley. I've seen this young man sacrifice. I've seen him not go out in the evening with his friends. I've seen him watch his food intake <laughs> just at before he before he's even necessarily had to. He just has been a student of the game. He understands what it takes. He's made those sacrifices. I have sat back and watched him and I just am in I'm in such a good place seeing him, him in his best place doing what he loves. It doesn't come natural. <laughs> it it comes natural to a certain extent and then he's worked at it. <laughs> So, Keely, how much of an influence was your mom in all this? Man, she's a huge influence. Um, I definitely would say she's my vessel. Um, I feel like with her going through breast cancer, it, it's, de it's definitely formed um, a big part of me and, and who I am today, for sure. And, um, man, one of, the, one of the big things I continue to say is that knowing that anything I'm going to go through is no comparison to anything that she's gone through in her entire process. And that, continue, that, that helps me continue to put one foot in front of the other against any adversity that I face. That's a powerful statement. Okay. <laughs> Definitely. Keely, Traley, Dr. Albright, thank you so much for joining us on Morning Blend. Have a blessed day. Thank you. Appreciate thank it. Thank you for having you. us. Got it right this time. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks. <laughs>